Okay, so now I have turned the tray right side up and as you can see the candle holders have dried nicely the tunic cans other underneath have dried nicely as well now what I wanted to point out about the candle holders is what I went ahead and did was I took a piece of jute twine and along the bottoms of all the candle holders I glued one row of jute twine around each candle holder base bottom and I did this just to give um, our decor piece a really nice finish since there were some areas where you could see a little bit of the glue. Now moving on to the tuna cans, as I said, you really cannot see them. Um, if you are standing in front of um, the tray and you're bending down, you may see them a bit. But this is why I decided only to um, go about five rows high with the jute twine. But I am glad that I did add them. Now as I said earlier, if you do um, this DIY, it is best to purchase a tray that is very firm. This one was. It was a very hard plastic. But because um, I will show you in a few moments, um, I will be using this piece in a different way other than a serving um, buffet stand. Um, I really wanted that extra support just in case. Because it is plastic, um, as I said earlier, um, it is possible that it could crack, but having that extra support underneath will give it um, some nice strength added to um, the tray. And um, third, what I liked about adding the tuna cans as well is that before I did add them, this tray, um, wherever you place it, was sitting flush to the surface. So if I wanted to pick it up, it would have been really a little bit more difficult to pick it up. But having the tray elevated a bit with the tuna cans underneath now gives me something to grip onto and I really like that as well. So now let me go ahead and add our trays and show you some different variations where you could use this or that you can use this piece. So I hope you really um, are excited to see it. I'm excited to show you. Okay guys, so here it is. Um, I have added our trays and I, I just absolutely love how this turned out. So here we have our three tiered serving buffet slash display stand and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I really love the combination of the white with the black and the jute twine. So I'll just show you from the side what it looks like. I just love it. I absolutely love it. And this will be so nice to display um, whatever you want really. Um, I will most likely use it for a breakfast buffet. Um, you know, put cupcakes, cookies, um, muffins, anything like that. But you know, you're not limited to just food. I mean, you could go ahead and, and use it um, if you have enough space in your bedroom and you have a good size vanity. You could, you know, put your perfumes or your makeup, your brushes. You know, there's many, many different ways that you can use this. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these trays do come in um, oval, rectangular, and circular shapes. So um, I do have the rectangular ones, and I just want to show you what it would look like um, if you're not, um, if you don't want to completely go all the way with spraying uh, or painting the trays and stenciling them. You know, this piece looks beautiful using the trays just as they are. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then um, attach those to the candle holders and show you how pretty um, the silver looks with this piece. Okay, and here are the silver trays, the rectangular silver trays, and they look just stunning. I just love the combination 
of the jute twine with the black and the silver. I think it just looks so classy, yet farmhouse. So again, if you don't want to go ahead and paint the trays, you know, just leave them as they are. They look beautiful, um, beautiful just as they are. Okay, so now to the silver trays, I have added some flowers, some succulents, and some candles. Um, just to show you that, you know, this doesn't have to be used for food, um, for a, you know, for a buffet style, but it's great that it can be. Um, again, if you don't want to, or if you don't need to use it, for food at the moment and you want to display something like this then how great is it that you can add these items and make such a beautiful decor piece I think it just looks stunning So now this would be the favorite way that my children like this piece utilized in my home. And of course it's not because of the flowers but definitely because of the chocolate and candy. So yes, you can also use this as a candy bar. And what I did was I actually removed the metal trays and I did purchase these um, at Dollarama and I just love these. Whenever they get them, they sell out so quickly. So whenever I see them, I do try to grab them when I get the chance. And these are three metal uh, galvanized pails that come onto this, um, this tray. And you can take them off um, or have them sitting in the tray. So again, you know, I removed the trays that um, I purchased from the Dollar Tree and then added these um, really pretty trays and have now made it into a candy bar. And so this is the great thing that I love about using the magnets and not really just gluing um, something permanently down because you get so much more flexibility um, in doing it this way and um, I just love that you can change it up and give it many different looks okay so now I have removed the galvanized tray with the metal tins and I have added these bread pans which I also purchased at the Dollar Tree and if you have a um, a desk in your kitchen or in your office if you would like to use this you could turn it into a um, office workstation so as you can see um, I added pens and washi tape my planner some little sticky pads and scissors and markers and it really has um, everything that I need to organize my day um, all in one place so I definitely, um, once our re renovation is complete, I have a little um, little desk in my kitchen area and um, I will probably use this there. Um, but again, the great thing is that I can use it in different areas of my home. So I'm not just forced to use it in one way, in one place. And again, this is what I love about this DIY. I mean, it's one thing, you know, first of all, I didn't spend a lot of money to make this, but then when you do get so many other uses out of it, it actually makes your DIY um, more cost effective because now you're getting more uses out of it. This is also um, a really nice way with using your trays to display those wallet size pictures and these are the magnetic frames that I used in my um, a centerpiece for all seasons DIY and I think they look great on here um, you really could display quite a few and um, 
but again you know this will work great for all the seasons you know you can display I think for the winter time it would be really cute to um, display a little miniature village um, you know really the the possibilities are endless I'm just showing you a few to give you some ideas but I'm sure that you could come up with a million of your own okay guys so this is the last um, way that I will show you how I will be using this in my home and this is set up as the display stand so as you can see I removed all the trays and at the very top um, on the candle holders I just placed my three pale um, galvanized tray with my roses at the very top then just in front leaning against those candle holders I place my cupcake book and then in front of that leaning against the single candle holders I just took my three trays placed one in front of the other and now I can switch them out so that I get a new image and saying anytime I want to change it up so I think that um, this really turned out great if you are going to put your trays in this way to display them I would recommend that you put a piece of wax paper in between the trays if you're using the semi gloss clear then you shouldn't really have a problem if you're using the Mod Podge you may get a little bit of stickiness a little bit of tackiness um, if you're not sealing it and um, you don't want to ruin the trays although however you know if you do get a little bit of nicks or scratches in the tray it actually adds to the farmhouse look so either way um, I think that this DIY is a really great DIY to um, try out for yourselves I enjoyed making it and I will love using this in my home so if you enjoyed this video and I hope you did please like share and subscribe if you already haven't and um, go ahead and click on the bell so this way you will be alerted anytime I post a new DIY so as always guys um, take care and I really hope to catch you in my next video bye bye